today's subscription spot, we are having a look at the Tokyo Treat January 2016 subscription box service. www.tokyotreat.com If you would like to have some fun and tasty Japanese candy delivered to your house every single month. Let's reach off camera and grab my knife. I got Hank here. And let's cut the tape on the front to find out what we got inside from the folks over at Tokyo Treat. Tokyo Treat always delivers a good, solid-sized box of things inside. Volume 1 from Tokyo Treat, January 2016. We've got some anime on the front there. Looks like we got ourselves... Yeah, it's a comic. Or maybe not. Spot assumed, spot assumed wrong. It's just a bunch of news. Different things, different heads up. Pokemon Mini Contest. And then we've got the small, regular, and premium grade selections from Tokyo Treat. And we're going to find out together what we got. I'm going to just kind of partially open that. I'm going to put that just to the side because I will have to reference this after all. And let's go through the things that we got in this month's box. This looks really hot. This is Tyrant Habanero. It says these crunchy rings are delicious and dangerously addictive. Enjoy the spice of real habanero peppers and the rush of hot and salty treat. The crunch will put you, will pull you in, but the real pepper flavor might have you running for a glass of water. Enjoy, but beware. I don't know if I should be starting the review with this, but all right, let's open it up and give the tyrant habanero a try. I'll make sure I open it up completely. Not something that you would want to be consuming and then rubbing your eyes. Don't do that. Uh, there's one of them right there. It's very actually smaller than I was expecting them to be. I thought they would be more uh, like a ring -a but they're a little, uh, a little thinner in design. All right, let's give this a try. I'm gonna start with something hot. Hopefully we'll kind of peter off to something a little sweeter. Here we go, Tyrant Habanero. Habanero, here we go. Very much like a, a ring -a -lo. Well, let's actually open this up a little bit better than what we did. I acknowledge the fact that I didn't open that up very well at all. Let's try another one. I can feel the heat kicking in with every new piece that I try. It's about the flavoring of a ring -a -lo, just really hot though. Not dangerously hot. I'm not grabbing for a drink of water just yet. I'm sure I will, though. But it probably worked itself out. <coughs> there goes the heat. Probably worked itself out well. That spot tried this one first. And then we're going to kind of dissipate that heat with all the other things inside. Not bad. If you like hot things, put that to the side. Next, we have something from Tohato. Tohato Caramel Corn. This is Yokai Watch Character Soft Serve Ice Cream. Recent years in Japan, there has been... <coughs> excuse me, I got some heat at the back of my throat here. There's been a huge surge of popularity in monsters and ghouls, especially highlighted through the hit show Yokai Watch. This caramel corn is hosted by one of the popular characters from the show, uh, infused with soft serve ice cream flavor, too. Could this be the work of monsters? Dun, dun, dun. Maybe not. Let's open it up. It's got some of the, I guess, the characters on the sides. I love Tohato stuff. The caramel corn is delicious. And when they come out with new flavors, generally I only get to try in two subscription boxes like this. But when they come out with new flavors, they're always really good. Let's give this a try. The soft serve ice cream. As a Tohato. I don't know. Let's give it a try, though. Mmm. Oh, that's good. It's the flavoring of a vanilla ice cream. It's creamy. It's got the vanilla flavoring in there as well. Mmm. I have, myself and my mouth, have quickly forgotten the heat that we got from the Tyrant Habanero. Oh, those are good. Mm. Spot's going to put that to the side. That I will be revisiting later. Oh, yes, I will. 
All right, let's get this out of the way right now. There is a do-it-yourself kit. Spot, are you ever gonna do this? Nope. <laughs> I will one of these days. You always say that, Spot. But there's a do-it-yourself kit. This is the Okai Key. It's uh, O-E-K-A-K-I. Ikaki? I don't know. Cayenne Land Candy. Do-it-yourself candy, which I will put to the side one of these days. You always say that. Moving along, we have something from Pokemon, more importantly from Pikachu. It looks like several different flavors of candy. And I'm just looking here, I'm trying to see actually, I'm looking at the legend. Let's revisit the legend, shall we? Unless there's a second page. No, there's not. Unless it's Pokemon Ramoon, oh it is, five pack from the hit anime and game franchise Pokemon. These tasty snacks come in various shapes and tastes. Pineapple, cola, soda, grape, and five types of melon flavors to be enjoyed. There's even a few hidden monsters, including Pikachu, in the package. How many can you find and catch? So there we've got, I guess, pineapple, melon, uh, soda, oh, cola, soda, and grape. Well, I think I'm going to try the grape first. You know what I'm like when it comes to grape candies. Oh, delicious goodness. The candies themselves are a little harder. For some reason, I thought they were more like gummies, but I was absolutely correct or incorrect. They're like a hard little capsule candy. It's grape, though. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That is delicious. It's kind of like a sweet tart. Although with these, you're getting the benefit of different flavors. I'm gonna try the cola one as well. I could be here all afternoon, but I know you guys have other places you need to be. So I'm just gonna open up the cola here. See that little puff of powder coming out every time? I'm gonna try the cola one and then we will move on. Cola one, if it's anything like the grape, it's obviously gonna be a different flavor, but let's give it a try. Mmm. Spot says this before, he'll say it again, and I'm sure I'll say it again a couple of times after that. Something about Japanese cola flavored anything, it's always fantastic. I don't know if you can, I'm a hard person to read at times. It is delicious. It always tastes exactly like cola or like North American, like gummies and stuff like that. Very good. Moving along, and yes, I did bang my camera here. Let's just move that back. Uh, we have, this is Yokai Watch Fortune Seal uh, Namaste Curry. In Japan, there is a custom to bring to buy a special paper fortune to predict the new year, what the new year may bring, and receive a fortune blessing at a shrine. These fortunes have been attached to this delightful, savory curry snack from the hit anime series Yokai Watch. And the characters, uh, Garajar... Garajapo, see right, right there, G-E-R-A-G-E-R-A-P-O, Garajapo, I don't know, wishing you best fortunes. Despite any botching Spot does during the name, the name calling here, let's open these up and find out how they taste. You don't get many in them. Oh, and also, what is this? Oh, is this the seasoning packet? Maybe there's a seasoning packet that you have to add to it. This sounds like this could be delicious and messy. Because I think the default, let's just check here. No, there is curry in there. I wonder what this is then. Oh, maybe this is a, a card? Let's find out. Oh, it is a card. No flavoring necessary. Flavoring is already on there. And I got myself a little cat. Meow, 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 meow. Meow. It's not bad. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not crazy when it comes to curry flavored snacks. It's not really my thing. But if you like curry, you definitely would be interested in those, I'm sure. This caught my eye. It's a little collectible figure. This is from Takara Tomy. And boy, oh boy, does this bring back memories. I'm sure I've regaled this story on numerous occasions, but I had a, a good friend who collected all of the original Pokemon and had them up on these little blister packs. And this one, let's just see if we can find it on the legend here. The Pokemon 
Mancole, 12 species assortment. A special item of the month is not food or drink, but an amazing figurine from Pokemon franchise. Enjoy opening your Pokemon toy box, not knowing which monster you will get. Up to 12 different options for the monster you receive, and we hope it will end up getting the one you really want. We know you will love co uh, collecting these adorable toys as much as we do. Have fun. I'm not sure the name of that character. It would definitely be a Pokemon I don't recognize, as this is way past my years of knowing Pokemon. Anybody knows? Let me know. And then we will know. Yes, I will know. And then you can say, hey, I told Spot. There you go. I like it. Kind of, kind of an interesting little... Looks like a plant Pokemon. Again, let me know down below. Moving along, we have... Oh boy, don't tell me this is more do-it-yourself candy. One of these days. Yes, it is. It's Neuro Neuro Neuroon Soda Flavor Do-It-Yourself Candy. Where you make your own candies. <sighs> I'll just put that to the side. Somebody, I'm sure, is getting a real laugh out of the fact that every single time we open these, I always get these, and I always say, one of these days, I'm actually going to do these. We have ourselves a soda. This is uh, a Mezaki high quality sweet sake. As the new year approaches, the traditional beverage style of choice in Japan are those with sweet flavors. This drink in particular is enjoyed with war uh, enjoyed warm, and we think you will love it. Uh, sake is both sweet and invigorating, great to have during any holiday celebration. Apparently it also contains 1% alcohol. That's what it says. It says that actually on the uh, the legend. It's kind of a kind of a milky uh, sake. It does again have some alcohol to it. It's only one percent, guys. So don't worry. Let's give it a try. The Amazaki, uh, Amazaki. Maybe it's Amazaki. A uh, high quality sweet sake. Here we go. Let's give it a try. Mmm, that is rather hard to place. It's kind of like the flavoring of a a, a slightly caramel flavored uh, creamy shake. But then there's a flavoring to it. I guess some would say that's the sake flavor, but there's some flavor to it I can't quite place. It's not terrible. I don't know if I enjoy it, but I would say it's an interesting experience as it goes with really everything that we're opening up inside this box. They're always interesting experiences. I'm just going to put the sake on the floor so I don't spill it. All I would need to go is, and then it just goes everywhere, and I'm like, oh boy. Rosalita's nowhere to be found. I would have to clean up that mess, guaranteed myself. This is Fuku Fuku Thai Chocolate. In Japan, there has been a long time custom to enjoy the fresh taste of sea bream during the new year. And because of that, many Thailand dishes are enjoyed, resembling the buku puku feel of Thailand. These bream shaped chocolate confectionaries offer a sweet and simple treat for the new year. All right, let's open it up. So far we've done, oh no, I don't even want to say it. I'm not going to say it. I was going to say, so far we've got a pretty good job of not making a mess everywhere. As I say that, as I'm opening up some wafer cookie, which will likely break and go everywhere. I'm just going to break off a piece. Uh, it's a full shaped wafer. It's got the flavoring of chocolate. Some would say I, I robbed them of actually seeing the whole thing. There it is right there. It's the shape of a fish, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. It's a fish. And inside is like chocolate. It's got about the same consistency as a fortune cookie, just a little more airy. It's not bad. It's not bad. Let's see what else we have in here. It appears we have some Pokemon cards of some sort. Which I actually don't see anywhere on the legend. Oh, yes, I do. Maybe I do? No, I don't. 
I thought it might be Pokemon wafers, but I don't think these are wafers. I guess the only way to find out is we'll open these up. They look like playing cards, to be honest. Or collector's cards. And what is this? Oh, I guess it's a piece of gum. Oh, I got some gum in there as well. So it looks like... Uh, it looks like, I guess you put it together, you make, I guess you, you don't make this guy because they don't look the same, but it looks like you have to piece together a puzzle. Oh, there's the puzzle. That's what it looks like on the other side. That's interesting. And again, these just peel off. Then you got to find the section that this matches to, which is right at the top. And it is right there. This brings me back to the old 80s sticker albums where you had to actually put the stickers, like, uh, what was one of them? Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling, or the real Ghostbusters. We had to line up the stickers and make a giant image. Usually the image, I think, was only like half a page, but it was fun. It was fun. These are the Pokemon wafers, which, again, we probably have seen a lot before. This is, speaking of a lot, no pun intended, it actually comes to us from lot. This is Pokemon Wafers. A yummy wafer that is shaped like various pocket monsters from the hit franchise Pokemon. Up to 24 different possibilities of monsters. Which one will you get? The Pikachu is said to be the rarest. And you will also get a special character picture of uh, with your snack. Rare po Pokemon get. And I think I'm going to try my best, my best efforts to open this over the box because I know I'm going to probably get it everywhere. You say wafer, I say what? You say wafer, I say that's going to go everywhere. That's not really a normal conversation I would have had with somebody, but you get the idea. Okay, so that's one of the... Oh, and it's Squirtle. No, it's not. Oh, look, I got Pikachu! I actually did get the rare one. Fancy that. Fancy that. Okay, let's give this a try. The wafer cookie. Here we go. It kind of looks like really the the Fuku Fuku Thai chocolate, but let's give it a try anyways. It's pretty much what you would expect it to taste like. It's a wafer cookie, and then you've got the hard, it's more of a harder chocolate inside. It's not bad. I, uh, I don't tend to like a lot of wafer cookies, unless it's like, uh, you know, like a coffee crisp, or it's covered in chocolate. We also have something else that looks like it's going to go everywhere. Pocky chocolate. Melt in your mouth winter pocky. Because the co coconut pocky we offered in the summer was so popular, we couldn't resist sharing this treat. Enjoy the delightful taste of biscuit and chocolate dipped in decadent cocoa powder. For a layered experience. This special limited edition Pocky snack is just for you. Oh, that's that's really nice of you. Not that anyone's really listening, but that's really nice of them to do that. Let's open up the bag. Pulling out one of the Pockies. Which, actually, package-wise, it kind of looks like it's dusted in, coco in cocoa. Instead, it kind of looks like it was dipped in like a liquid cocoa. Let's give it a try. The melt in your mouth winter pocky. Here we go. Mm, oh, that's good. Put a fair bit of cocoa on there as well. Kind of reminds me of a nice hot cocoa on a winter uh, afternoon. Just kind of lounging in a chair, having a nice hot cocoa, looking outside to the snow. That's the holidays for you. Mm, oh, that's good. I might even polish that off. Very good. Pocky, I could take or leave. This one, actually, I would finish off all of them. I'm going to have to try to be good. Spot still is trying to live up his New Year's resolution of trying to eat healthier. But we will see. Finally, we have the Choco Ball. Which, if I'm looking for the read up here. Here we go. These special snacks have been a popular staple for Japanese living for the for many years and can be found in a lot of uh, 
the amazing snack shops across the country. Enjoy a single treat of whole peanuts coated in delicious chocolate. You won't be able to forget the snack or the adorable bird mascot. Just so I can understand what's going on here, is the bird actually one of the cho chocolate eggs? I would be fearful as a child eating these eggs, thinking that one, one of them could have the little mascot bird inside. You see what I think about when I'm eating snacks? What do you think about when you're eating snacks? Probably not that there's a bird inside one of them. You just missed what I did. I took my knife and I just cut the wrapper because we're going to have to open this up. There we go. Take the wrapper off. I'm assuming that these are going to be a lot like peanut M&Ms. They're a lot shinier, mind you, than a peanut M&M. And of course, they don't have the candy coating with the M on it. But I'm thinking it's about going to be about the same. Let's give this a try. The final snack inside Tokyo Treat for January. The chocolate ball peanut. Here we go. Unlike a peanut M&M, I find this has more of a roasted peanut flavor to it, which in and of itself is delicious. And then you put chocolate over top of it. Uh, M&Ms tend to be a little more of a darker chocolate. This is more like a milk chocolate. I would say, in my honest opinion, I would enjoy these a lot more than peanut M&Ms. No fooling. I don't fool when it comes to peanut M&Ms. I actually would enjoy these a little bit more. Very good. Well, we certainly got ourselves quite the haul this time around. If you guys are interested in having Tokyo Treat delivered to your house every single month, don't delay. You can click the link down below and subscribe today. Uh, certainly stay tuned, guys. Spot's also going to have more uh, subscription spots in your way as we look at other things that can come to your house every single month. See you guys next time.